Hi, welcome to Brain Breaks. Uh, so um, I know we've been doing a lot of physical activity this week. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, what we call story time yoga. So we're going to go on a pretend trip up a mountain today. So this is perfect um, for um, littles and um, adults alike. Uh, if you're an educator, this is something um, that you can do um, with kids at their desk. Um, they can stand up at their desk and do a lot of these moves. Um, any that are on the floor, you can just modify. Um, we'll work through some of those as we go along today. Um, but let's get started. So first, um, I'm outside. You can do this anywhere. Um, you can do this in your living room. Um, you don't need a yoga mat. Um, you can use a towel. Um, if you're inside and you just have a rug, that's fine too. Um, grab some water. Um, if you're being active, uh, you should definitely keep your body hydrated. Um, I'm using mint peach water today, so don't forget to stay hydrated. All right. So, um, whenever you start doing any type of yoga move, one of the first things you should do is sit up straight. And I'm a little out of practice because I haven't done this in a few months. Um, so we're going to sit up straight and when I do this with kids, I tell them that we're going to tie a string to their head all the way through their spine to keep it nice and straight. And we're going to sit up straight and stand up straight just like this. So I hope everyone can hear me okay. Um, so we're going to begin our trip up the mountain. I'm going to use my cheat sheet here. Um, you can find all um, kinds of things like this online. So um, if this is something you're interested in doing, um, I will put some resources in the comments. Great. So we're going to begin. We're going to stand up tall. So, this is mountain stance. Mountains stand tall and majestic. There are tall peaks. We raise our hands up tall and stretch our arms. And some are snow capped, some are covered in trees. So we are going to begin our climb. walk up the mountain. One of the first things we see is a waterfall. So we're going to put our hands above our head and lean back as much as we can without falling over. And then we're going to come forward. The water is coming down the waterfall. We're going to reach and touch as much as we can and as far out as we can. And then come back up and do that again. So back as far as we can. And then down as low as we can. There we go. Great. And then come back up slowly. And then we're going to continue our walk up the mountain. The next thing we see are eagles sitting in their nest. So we're going to bend our legs, kind of like we're sitting in a chair, and put our arms up. And you can then stay like this as long as you can hold it. You should feel that right here, a little stretch in the thigh. Alright, so now we're going to be eagles taking off from our nest. So we're sitting in our nest, and then we're going to take off and put our arms behind us as far as we can go and stretch them out. And now the little baby eagles are going to fly too. So we're going to go back to the nest as much as we can and then fly away. All right, we're going to continue our walk up the mountain. As we get higher up the mountain, we see lots of trees. So this is probably one of the most known yoga poses, the tree pose. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring our leg up and we're gonna rest it on the inside of our leg here. 
Now, especially if you have little kids, this might be a little difficult. So I tell them they can just keep their toe on the ground. One of the really important things about this is to not put your foot on your knee. That could really hurt your knee. If you're really flexible, you could bring it up here like that. But I'm more of a kind of a here person. So we're gonna be a tree. And it is totally normal to be more balanced on one side than the other. So, because this is yoga, what we do on one side, we always do on the other. We're gonna switch sides, stretch those tree branches up to the sky. And come on down and wave our tree branches in the sky. We have a beautiful breeze up here. We're gonna do like this. We're going to keep marching up the mountain. Oh, we come to a stream. So, how are we going to get across it? We're going to have to go across the bridge. So, we're going to get down on the ground. Now, this is one of the things, if you were doing this in a classroom, for example, you probably wouldn't want your kids to get on the ground. So, you could either just leave this part out or um, modify it with having them pretend they are a bridge standing up. Um, so this is the bridge we're gonna do. I'm gonna do this a couple different ways so you can see it. It's hard to get this on camera. Uh, actually, maybe if I did backwards, I'm gonna do like this. So you're using your shoulders and then you lift your bottom up into the air. So it looks like this. Shoulders flat and lift your bottom up. So things like this and like the tree pose are really good for building that core strength. Working on things like balance. Great. So we've crossed the bridge. We're still on the stream. So we're going to come across some animals that live near water and one of those might be a frog so we're going to be a frog so we're going to come up like this of course most kids at this point want to hop but what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands and we're going to put them between and underneath our legs now we're a frog ribbit Okay, and what else might live by water? Maybe some snakes. So we're gonna get down on our belly. We're gonna use our stomach muscles to lift our head up and be a snake. If you were doing this and you did not wanna get on the ground, you could maybe do a little like snake like this or snake like this. Just move those body muscles. All right, I need to flip my page. So other things that we might come across on the mountain would be maybe a wild cat. So we're gonna pretend to be a wild cat. We're gonna get down and crouch down low. Stretch, come down low, and put his legs out, and roar! And wildcat, prowl through the woods. So this is cat pose, and this is cow pose. So we're wildcats. So we're going to do cat pose, and we're going to stretch our legs. So we're gonna put one leg out, the other leg out. You can tell kids that this is your tail. So you're going to just put one out and waggle it. Put one out and waggle it. All right. So if everyone 
is well balanced. One thing we can do is walk like a wild cat through the woods. And how that looks is like this. So you're gonna lift one arm up and the opposite leg. Now, a lot of people will be really wobbly with this. This is kind of hard, but once again, it's really good for building that core strength. If you do this, you can walk right through the woods. And then we're going to stretch into downward dog. We're going to go sideways so everybody can see. There we go. And we can lift our tail up if we want. Make sure what we do on one side, we always do on the other. So, a fun move that children really like is to pretend they're a bear scratching their back. So we're going to lay down, put our hands in, our, in the air, and wiggle around like we're a bear scratching a back. And now we're going to be a very quiet squirrel. And this is a good time if you were doing this in the classroom or with your own children to remind them that squirrels are very quiet. All right, so we're gonna sit back crisscross applesauce. And as we've walked up the mountain, we have noticed that the sun is getting lower in the sky. So when we started, the sun was coming up and now the sun is going down. All of the animals are starting to go to sleep. So we're going to start walking down the mountain. We come across animals sleeping. We're going to get down and this is the child pose or um, also an egg pose. We're going to tuck in super tight. We're going to do that for a few minutes and then we're going to get up, finish walking down the mountain. And we're going to go home and go to sleep. So what we can do is at this point is a good time for rest. Um, after every yoga practice, uh, you should rest. Um, so it's a good time to lay down, contemplate uh, how your body feels, so that your heart rate slow back down. And then after that, make sure you drink some more water and stay hydrated. And then you can go back Thank you for joining us today for our brain break. Um, I hope you enjoy tomorrow's brain break as well. And I'll see you next week. Have a great day.